Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures and what may be perhaps the lamest weekly painting progress video I will film. At least I filmed yet so far this week. That's it. <laughs> this is it. This is all I managed to get painted. And it's sort of kind of my fault. We ended up rearranging our office workspace area, which is where I do most of my painting. And I moved my painting table and paint and lightings systems and everything and now where I am trying to paint is no light now I thankfully got new lamps and set up and everything is all nice and hunky-dory but that was late Thursday night Friday afternoon and yeah we hopefully will have a better update next week so these are two of the deep cut tabaxi I think these are the rogues not bad sculpts and I don't know what possessed me to actually paint them because I really am not much of a cat person. I'm much more of a dog person. So take that for what you will. And I really can't get a good clear shot on them. I like this model more and I don't know why. I used very similar colors and it's kind of boring. So last week I mentioned that myself and Barzam had a bit of a gentleman's agreement as to who could get their Chronicles of the Wayfarer models painted first. Now mine are started, mind you. They're just not finished. So, uh, High Lord Tamberlane sadly lost this round and had to give up his weird alien assimilation mutant thing to Barzam. So here is the Warscream leader that Barzan painted, I'm going to include this because, well, it's at my house, he left it here, and it was painted this week. I thought he did a pretty nice job. Totally different colors than what are shown on the actual Kickstarter page. We have, for the Knights of the Kiln, I thought he did a stellar job on this. This is the Lawgiver, and it looks a lot more phenomenal in person than it does on screen. I thought his original pictures didn't really do it justice, but I think he did a really nice job. Good job, Barzan. I will give you a thumbs down for not bothering to do anything with the base. I know we argued about that the other day, but yeah. So it's hard to really tell, maybe from the lighting, but this is actually, he's got kind of a bone white armor on as opposed to like the gold. It looks kind of gold in the light, but nope. It's actually a very menoth white. We'll set him there. And along with him, we have the crossbowman, again, in very Menoth-inspired colors. Just a little bit different because, obviously, on the actual Kickstarter page, they're all done up in black. So, a nice touch. I thought they painted up pretty well, and I really do think that Barzim did a nice job on these. Not that I can take credit. Mine looked totally different. Mine ended up kind of like an Iron Man scheme. And here, oh gosh, what is this guy called? I forget, he's one of the Spirit Wardens. Maybe he was an actual Warden. So we kept talking about gorillas and monkeys, and so it looks like Barzam decided to do very similar, and I see a little chip there, I think. I don't know if I'm responsible for that or he did. Funny thing with the Warden here is that we had both agreed that we weren't going to use any contrast paints, and then I guess I rescinded that idea and completely forgot that I said that. And so... That is totally contrasted. I know that, and Barzim did tell me that too. So, he did officially get his set of models finished. So, big kudos to him. I did not. They will be done by next week. The next time we have a weekly painting progress, and hopefully there's a little bit more to show than just these guys. It's kind of sad. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberling with Obscurities and Miniatures saying, hey, even if I have to rearrange my office and it takes me days upon days before I can actually get something painted, I still got something done. And actually, I did do a lot of progress with my uh, Raging Heroes Blood Tribe ladies who almost were done, and I just could not stay up last night to get them finished. So, nah. Anyways, y'all take care. Keep an eye out. We got more videos coming up soon. See y'all later. Bye bye.